Here, thanks to the recommendation of Chelsea and Christy from NYC X Clothes. Make sure you go and follow them. But we are at Ichiran Ramen. It's our first time here. So number one in Japan. Number one. It's like one of those like very traditional like booth type sit down ramen places. You'll see once we get inside. But I'm hungry, so let's go eat. Thank you. <laughs> Get out of here. Mentos, the fresh maker. Hmm. Hello. How was it? It was good. Really good. Rate it. That was the best ramen I've ever had. But I'm ever. not well traveled. Ever. Better than yeah. Tato? I mean, Tato's good, but yeah, this is better. Mm. You like so, that authenticity. Really creamy. Like, really, really good. <laughs> yeah. So we're waiting outside for our Uber. It's kind of cold. He missed but his turn. If you're in Brooklyn, I guess in New York in general, you should come. It's literally the best, number one in Japan. Number one, but we're not in Japan. You'll number feel like you're in Japan. Can you high five? Oh my gosh. Yes. Dakota, lay. Kiss, kiss. 
Okay. 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 Give me a hug. Oh. Was he wet? Hey guys, and welcome to another weekly Vlogmas. If you are new here, my name is Sheena, and I'm a digital content creator and Etsy shop owner based in New York City. So today has definitely been weird because I woke up this morning like fairly early, took a shower, was ready to tackle the day, laid down for two minutes, and then ended up napping for two hours. And I think that was just my body telling me like, girl, you need to rest. And honestly, I've been going through a lot this week, not only mentally, but I've also been really sick and nobody wants to see vlogs of me just laying around, moping, not feeling good. So I kind of delayed the footage until the end of this week but I hope it's enough to keep you guys entertained and that you still enjoy it nonetheless. So on days like today where I've had a later start it's kind of an ugly and cold day outside to me it's a perfect opportunity to play catch up and just kind of get my shit together. So I figured I would just kind of show you guys my process of getting my bullet journal set up, cleaning my apartment, just getting things in order and hopefully I have some time to draw with you guys and procreate and to show you what I'm working on but I've missed you guys so much. I know so many of you were really wanting those daily vlogs but I just didn't have it in me. I feel like last year was a different time in my life. I was just now starting my shop, getting a lot off the ground. So it was a little bit more exciting. And this year I just kind of had this weird like seasonal depression that I'm going through. And like I said, nobody wants to see you vlogging that stuff. Unless you guys do, then let me know below. But for the most part, I don't think people really want to see a lot of that. They come to YouTube to see inspiring and happy content. So. I hope you guys can understand. So with that said, I have a good bit to do before Dustin gets home from work. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my get shit done day and I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's go. All right guys, so I figured um, since I had a bit of a later start to my day, I just wanna get my next weekly spread done so I can have everything listed out that I need to do. Just kind of get caught up with my week and my to-do list. And usually these videos are like super put together and curated. My nails are like perfect and I have all the perfect tools. But because we're in this vlog season, I figured I would keep it pretty transparent with you guys. And this is normally how I do my spreads. It's just a regular Sunday morning. I'm in my PJs no BS and I just figured I would share with you guys. So let's go ahead and do that.
All right, guys, so this is my weekly spread. No BS, no frills, just straight to the point. As I mentioned in my last bullet journal video, I'm keeping things down to one page and fairly simple because I am reaching the end of my bullet journal and I have just enough pages to make it through the rest of the year. A few of you have asked if a 2020 bullet journal is coming and of course it is. I just need to find out which one I'm going to be ordering and go ahead and get all of that curated and set up because I take my new bullet journal setups quite seriously. So here you guys see I have my tasks that I would like to get done. I have a few shipments coming in this week, all just personal stuff. And it's funny because they all start with B and then the next thing I have to add is a bullet journal. So got a little bit of a trend going on there, but that's basically it. Very simple, I kind of copied um, last week's theme because I just love the way that it looked. And of course, I just used one or two of the stickers from my recent Christmas sticker pack. So that's it, I'm gonna tidy all of this up and then I'll check back in with you. All right guys, so since the apartment is mostly cleaned up, I've gotten a lot of the small errands done. I figured I would sit down and get some drawing done with you guys. And apologies in advance if you hear any sounds of New York or techno music because my neighbor really likes techno. Um, but I'm going to jump into this piece of artwork that I've been working on. It's not a commissioned piece or anything like that. It's just something that I came up with, which is basically just a normal I guess day in the life of someone on the train don't know if you guys can see that but I also kind of drew myself in there uh, which is kind of cool so I will work on this and then also just chat with you guys about how things have been going so I know a lot of you were disappointed um, about not having the daily vlogmas um, but like I said last year was a different time for me um, I had never done vlogmas before it was a new experience I was opening a new shop and so the footage was a lot more exciting and now that the shop has been open for some time and you know things are different now I just didn't see myself posting um, daily vlogs it just wasn't something that I really wanted to do and you guys know that I'm all about quality and if I don't like the quality of a video I'm just not going to post it which I guess is a flaw for me because it leads to me not posting enough content but 
it's just what it is. It's how I work. I've always been this way. Like, I'm not going to post something that I don't 100% stand behind. And I hope you guys can understand. Um, I prefer quality over quantity. But that's what's been going on with the Vlogmas thing. So I'm only posting weekly vlogs. And hopefully they are up from here because I don't plan to be sick for the rest of December but we'll see how that goes now with that said I also wanted to discuss some things that have been on my mind regarding um, my shop and the future of me freelancing and all of that so a lot of you know that I had a nine to five and I wasn't exactly happy with it just because the treatment that I was receiving and I don't know office politics can be very demanding uh, mentally and physically so I decided to step away from that about a year ago and while I do appreciate my freedom I love being able to work from home and see Dustin and Dakota all the time and you know be able to make Dustin dinners and things like that there are certain aspects that I do miss like the paychecks and the job security and the benefits and sometimes I do miss like having those like office friends who you can kind of sit and talk with and vent with but a part of me just cannot see myself going back into that lifestyle. And honestly, I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about what my life would look like if I, you know, tried it out or chose to join a new company. And I don't know, I'm not going to say I'm 50 50. I'm in a weird place where I can see myself doing it, but then not really. And so I've been taking a moment to really focus on. I guess, perfecting my craft, um, being an illustrator and a graphic designer, because if I were to go back to the office lifestyle, I would like to go back in a creative role and not exactly IT. So when it comes to perfecting my craft, um, I am an illustrator, but I spend a lot of my time in Procreate, which is not a problem. When you're talking about like industry standards and being a graphic designer, a lot of people expect you to know Illustrator and a lot of the Adobe apps, which I am not 100% well versed on because I don't do a ton of vectorized art. And so I've been focusing on doing a little bit of that. I did take some time to practice and I practiced on my Brooklyn Post logo and just tried to vectorize it. And I think I did a decent job. Now, when it comes to perfecting my craft, I have really been leaning on Skillshare because learning graphic design is something that can be quite expensive if you go to a four year college. And I just know so many graphic designers who are self taught or found a way to learn off of the internet and I feel like Skillshare is the perfect learning platform for that. So if you are new here and you have never heard of Skillshare, they are basically an online learning community with thousands of classes for creatives, business entrepreneurs, people trying to open an Etsy shop, knitting, anything you can think of, it's probably available on Skillshare. And so I mentioned to you guys that I'm trying to learn Adobe Illustrator and doing more vectorized art because that's what graphic design designers do and time and time again I can find amazing content on Skillshare that has basically taught me how to use these programs because I'm definitely a visual learner you all know that one of my favorite classes is by an artist from Burnt Toast Creative he does an amazing job of walking through the steps of creating vector lines what they do how to create curves trace over an illustration and that's basically the tutorial I use to trace over my Brooklyn Post logo to make it a vectorized logo, which I've never had before. So my favorite part about Skillshare is that you can pick up classes as you go. You are not forced into a classroom setting or having to go to a four year college. And they are extremely affordable with an annual subscription of less than $10 a month, which you cannot beat. There's so many of us who have went to college and racked up tens of thousands of dollars in student loans and so if you're someone like me who was just trying to change career paths or learn something new Skillshare is perfect for that so whether you're trying to tinker around with a new skill or possibly enter a whole new career path, Skillshare also offers premium classes for those of you who want to perfect that skill or just join a community of other creatives just like you. So for this vlog, Skillshare was awesome enough to partner with me again to offer you guys two free months to check out the platform for yourself. I will have a unique link below for you to click and join millions of creatives learning on Skillshare today. While I enjoy drawing I do enjoy this freedom I don't want to just draw for fun and my client list has slowed down a bit 
a bit disappointing, but I'm learning to not take it super personal and just kind of realizing that I have to shift my primary form of income. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have seen the YouTube videos where people are like showing how much I make off YouTube and they're flashing checks, but just being completely transparent with you guys, I probably make 150 bucks a month off of YouTube. Like that is nothing in the scheme of things. That's like some people's cell phone bills, um, maybe a light bill. So I have to do something else. And that's why I always say that I'm so grateful for sponsors like Skillshare who look out for my channel and continue to support me because they allow me to bring that free content to you all. But I hope you guys have appreciate me being so candid and transparent because I think videos like this matter. I think um, being transparent with your audience about what is working and what's not is super important because there are so many of you who watch my videos and say they inspire you to wanna quit your job or inspire you to wanna be a full-time illustrator. And I think these low points and these down moments are very important to share so that you guys don't think that it's always perfect or that I'm making, you know, tons of money doing this in the city because that's not exactly the truth. But I'm not giving up, trying to stay positive, finding new opportunities, and I appreciate you guys joining me on this journey as I figure things out. And if you enjoy seeing videos like this, like me sitting down drawing and then also kind of sharing like life updates and what I'm going through, please let me know below. I've been thinking about doing live streams, but I really don't wanna go through all the trouble of getting new equipment, getting an encoder and doing all of that. And then like three people are tuning in. So I'm going to put a poll um, somewhere in the top here. So be sure to vote and let me know what your thoughts are because I personally love watching live streams. And so if you guys would join me for them, that would be awesome and something new that I can add to the channel to kind of spice things up and then while you're at it definitely comment below and let me know what you'd like to see more on this channel I feel like the last vlog didn't do as well as I'd hope and so it's kind of weird like I don't really know what you guys want to see I think predominantly it's bullet journal videos but that can get kind of old and I am more than willing to do like a sit down and kind of let you guys know why I don't exactly watch bullet journal videos myself so again just let me know what you'd like to see what you're into if you think doing a live stream would be a good idea and I will definitely look at all those comments and votes and if you want to see more about what I'm doing outside of YouTube be sure to follow me on Instagram. I do post more often on there. And then if you haven't joined me on Patreon already, I will have a link below to that where you guys can see more in-depth tutorials, receive snail mail, hear a bit more in my podcast about what I've been going through and what I'm doing. So thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye you guys.